Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we are at Launderholm now, we moved over. Um, if we have a look at the star map here. Clan Wolf has pretty much flipped this planet from Hell's Horses to Wolf. Uh, Diamond Shark's got a little bit of a grip here, but not much. Uh, there are a couple of Hell's Horses missions here that we can take. Uh, but we're going to try and flip it a little bit back towards either Diamond Shark or Hell's Horses. Let's just destabilize Wolf. This is going to give us a chance to pick up some good salvage too. So between episodes, what I did was, if you notice our sea bills here, I sold uh, all our inner sphere stuff that we don't need, like uh, LRM 10s, 5s, whatever crap that we had, uh, inner sphere ER lasers, things like that. So we were able to get some sea bills. I also installed the Logi pool. Uh, where are you here? Yeah. So we installed this sucker, plus three morale, plus one medical points. Definitely going to help out. I think it was like 360,000, so it wasn't so bad to install, or we were maybe around 400,000 or something. So yeah, we installed that. Um, could always use the extra bonus morale. Now you notice we're at 25 morale, we're spirited, so that's going to help out. Um, nothing happened barracks-wise, but in the base here, did I did a couple minor tweaks to the mix. So the Nova F... Um, what I ended up doing was I pulled off the two medium pulse lasers that we had on here and I dropped in an ER uh, medium clan laser which does 60 pinpoint damage. Uh, where are you here? There you are. Um, and that's the only change we made. Now the heat sinking is like perfectly neutral here, 102, 102. Uh, but we got really bonus good chances to hit with this guy so we're going to use him sitting back and hopefully like taking legs and stuff off. So that's the goal for this mech here. Um, oops. Let's just go back. And then what I did is I did a minor tweak to the Jenner 2C in that we just put in the sensors tracker, which gives the plus one to hit with ranged weapons. Uh, it's also giving um, uh, uh, minor ECM and things like that, right? Uh, adds four to sensor checks and stuff like that. So um, that's kind of a bonus for this guy. Having an extra hit with the LRMs is nice. So that's all we did. So let's have a look at the missions we got going on today. And yeah, so there's a few Diamond Shark ones that we can take here and some Hell's Horses. Uh, Clan Wolf doesn't like us, so we're not taking any wolf missions, obviously. But we're going to work hard here if we can in the next little while um, to pull off some of these missions. Now, we're going to find some that are against Clan Wolf here. Uh, our enemies, pirate enemies, nope. Uh, planetary government, come on. Pirate organization, really? Okay, here we go. So, War Criminal. We're going to take this one uh, with our main lance, assassinate in the Badlands. We should be able to do this one, so let's go ahead and do this now. And we're going to go full salvage since we're doing OKC okay bills wise. It's close to the end of the month, but we're all right. And it's in the Badlands, but our main lance is super heat efficient now that everybody's got Warlord, so that should be fine. I want to see how well we do with um, the Nova F in pinpoint damage blockade. Hopefully we can do some nice pinpoint shots. So we're going to run this and see how it goes. Okay, looks like we're up against two lances plus the commander. This should definitely be interesting. Almost didn't recognize the terrain at first, but we know this map really well, so we know what we have to do here. We need to get some distance between us and that reinforcement lance and take the high ground. Use our speed to give us a bit of an advantage here. We're going to need to pull down as many mechs at the very beginning as possible, so we're going to look for light, easy targets to kill. Unless there's a mech that we... Like yeah, thanks, Darius. Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. You're interrupting me again, buddy. Um, so the goal is to pull down the light guys as fast as possible, the easy kills. Um, and Unless there's a target that we absolutely have to focus on. So we've got uh, Joust BE-700, whatever the hell that is. Two of them. Light machine guns... ATMs, ER large lasers, so those could be dangerous. Same with both, so that's a lot of armor too. 900. So those are potential targets. Commander. 
Can we get... We could get a shot on one of them. Let's not get right to the edge. Let's stay back a bit. And we'll fire while we can. Okay. If we get lucky here, Blockade might be able to finish it up if we can get up here in time. Don't know if we can. We can. Don't really want both of them to see me though. What do we got here? Mad Cat. Okay, so we've got, I think, four parts in total of a Mad Cat? Five parts in total? So that's some good salvage right there. Alright, we're gonna fire on this guy. Let's see how you like this. Commander. Luce, let's see if we can finish him up, buddy. Let's get rid of this guy as best we can. Ah, uh, we only got pulses. That's fine. There we go. Nicely done. Okay, vehicle one out of the way with. I'm worried about what's up here. I do want to take this side as best as possible. Force them to fight from the low ground. Mad Cat, what's he doing? He's backing up. They probably can't see us, that's the thing. Okay, it's probably a secondary... Yeah. Reinforcement Lance. Probably it's not a full clan Lance. Stormcrow, okay. Man, I wish I knew the, the loadouts of these mechs as well as some of you guys do, because it's just like, I see the name and I'm like, okay, I recognize that as a clan mech, but what does it do again? <laughs> I, I don't even know what it does. It's been so long since I've played tabletop battle tech. I used to know them all, but now it's like, I'm just old. That's what it is. I'm just old. Uh, do we want to burrow through this guy? I think we do. So let's let's do that. Let's start on that. Okay, so we got Locust, Stinger, and a Commando. So those are, yeah, secondary Lance members. So we're going to fire on this guy's side. 55 ton. Yeah, barely scratched him. But we got more good pilots coming up here. It's going to be harder to hit, I know, standing in this mineral field, but it'd also be harder for him to hit us. And we got Mockingbird on our side, so what are we worried about? Waiting for orders. Okay, blockade. Now, we need to get in a little closer than that, I think. That's a side, that's an obstructed side shot. I'm going to take it. I don't want to be in visual range of the other guys. Wow. Damn. Yeah, no shit, dude. Dude, we got to get you some more targeting systems. I got as many targeting systems in there as I can get. <sighs> gunnery? More gunnery? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Wouldn't have been any better with the two pulse lasers in there, so... Yeah, he's, he's running. Okay, we need to sprint El Duce up here. I don't think they can see us. Because they're not shooting. I don't want you to get to a position where those other guys can see you though. Um, sure. God, I love how the, the clan streaks just don't fire if they're not going to hit. Okay, rapier. We've got tons of rapier parts. Rapier or raptor? Ra starts with an R. One of the two. <laughs> starts with an R. Um, let's get down in here. Sorry, guy. I'm just really excited about facing clans again. This is good. Um, yeah, man. I just wish this was like a half a skull bigger. Two and a half is okay, but... I mean, we're really running in the three, three and a half skull range right now. With the lance we have. 
And it really just comes down to equipment. It's got nothing to do with the pilots or the weight of the mechs. It, the equipment that you're using, you know, is like really the most important thing. Pilots are, I'm mean, having really great pilots too, really helps. But once again, I mean, it's, if you um, have awesome equipment, like we do having the loadouts of these mechs, they specialize loadouts rather than using the stocks. It's such a huge difference, like having the four, like the five medium pulse lasers on this thing running nice and cool. It's devastating, right? And a couple of with a pilot that can shoot, like, like Mockingbird, and it's just insane. The damage output is crazy. Little friend. Standing by. Let's make sure we murder that guy with extreme prejudice. Alright, we'll use uh, Warlord next turn. Firing. Yes, man. Yes. I take back what I said last it's round. And then there was seven. Get into here. Got it. Not to move very far because we're we are in the uh, mineral field. Okay. So Griffin Mockingbird have got a chance to get up here and take this guy down. I think we might try and pinpoint his leg. I really want Mad Cat parts more than anything here. That thing looks so cool. Stinger. These guys are going to die horribly. Alright, Griff. Can't get a side shot on this guy. But we can still pinpoint damage him. Going to use Warlord now. Offensive push. Let's see if we can take his leg. And firing. That looked pretty good. No, not quite enough. Of course, it's down to like 10 points or something. What else would it be down to? Mockingbird should easily be able to finish that up. Mad Cat's moving in. I think it's got a pair of LRM 20s or something. Dude, stop tempting fate. You know what happens when we say things like that, dude. You know, you know what happens. We don't need to use uh thing yet. Do we go up to this leg? Probably. Probably. That should be enough. Yep. Okay, blockade. See what those pinpoints can do against the second leg. Duce I think uh is gonna fire suppress the locust if we don't get the storm crow. So that's the standard uh, 201C with the AD at the uh, auto cannon um, 2. AC2, and I think it's a medium laser or SRM4 or something. At least he's playing, it's like you're supposed to play with the commando with the AC standing back. Oh, you heard what I was saying. He heard, he heard what I was saying and he ran away. You chicken. Uh, we don't want to be in the mineral field. We want a better chance to hit. So we're going to Warlord this guy. And we're going to shoot you in this leg. And fire. Couple of groin shots. No idea. Sure, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Good to go. Okay. On the move. Maybe we get the leg, maybe we don't. I'm gonna try for it. Uh, I'm gonna shoot for the. Oh, we're not gonna get the leg. I don't know. A lot of orange numbers there. 
No idea. I know it soon enough. Just worried about that little friend, man. Where are you going to hobble off to? Whoa. That was a heavy hit. How much do we have left? Ah, a fair bit. Um, yeah, fire it all. That should do it. Yep. You stare at the sky for a while and figure out what you did wrong. Yep. Okay, buddy. Um... Let's move to the trees. Let's see if we can shut up this commando. Uh, I'm gonna fire. Oh, thank you. Target neutralized. I I'm not even gonna. S if you miss completely for the rest of these turns, I'm not even gonna say anything, man, because that was awesome. Waiting for orders. That's what you call shutting up a mech. Yeah, we still don't need to go with uh, Warlord yet. Firing. El Duce hopefully can finish that guy up. Aye, aye. Mm, not the best place to fire from, but we'll take it. Yeah, shoot on this guy. It's a lot of fives. So the main lance is gone. Oh, almost gone. The Mad Cat's the remainder. That's the mech we want the most. Okay, a few threes there. I'm more concerned now about our second lance, depending on what mission we take with that one. This would be that 90 hit would have been would have been devastating for the second lance. Especially if it was like a CT hit or something. I have no idea where I got hit, by the way. But in a 55 ton, even if you got took a CT hit. You know, you're still, you know, you still got like 70 points of armor or so. I don't know, I got hit where. Uh, I did get hit for 90. I saw that, didn't I? Was it at, who, where the hell? Who got hit? I saw the 90 damage. Did it not apply? Um, I know I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth, but that's kind of cheating, like, on their part. I'm okay with taking the 90 hit. Right? If it's going to be a fair game, it's going to be a fair game. But it's got to work, well, work on both sides, not just on one side. Uh, let's see if we can start in his leg. 90. Not only are we just shooting at that guy, I want to see if we can push him back, get him to run away. So we're going to target this guy. And let's see if we can get rid of him. Yep. I need a new target. I uh, just back up over here. Excellent. Orders. Move order received. 
75 on the rapier. Whoa, three hits, nice. Just want to click click that side a bit because we're going to be shooting on his side. We'll get El Ducci on the rapier, see if we can push him back. Little friend's slowly moving his ass in now. Ooh. That better have applied. Okay, it did. Yeah. Like I said, I like a fair game. Confirmed. With the exception of that one time I reloaded, I know everyone's probably going, what about the time you reloaded? Confirmed. Yeah, but that would have wrecked the series. So that's the only reason why I did it. Wouldn't have wrecked the series. It would have put us back. We wouldn't even be been anywhere near where we are now. Like, could you imagine losing, losing the Stormcore and the Nova? You're only two medium mechs right at the very beginning. Especially when we had no gear. We had, like, no other gear, too, right? We had enough to field one lance, but losing another mech would have ended the series, and I didn't want that to happen, so... I'll take that as a mulligan. Okay, we need to move so that little friend doesn't target anymore. Because we can't really shoot him until the rest of these guys are gone. Because he'll try to bail out on us. We need eyes on that mad cat. Stinger, we can probably pull down. Oh, he's dead now. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Blockade needed a target he could wipe out. Um, that's the open. I don't want to be in the open, I don't think. Let's come around here. Almost got Warlord back, so we can go full out. And we'll do that. Interested to see what our two hit chance on this guy is. Pretty darn good. So let's warlord it up. Let's do an offensive push on the Mad Cat, and let's see if we can hit this leg. Copy that, Commander. That was pretty good. I think we got a lot of leg hits here. Christ, I can feel my attic shaking. Come There's a, a windstorm going on outside, and I'm, I'm on the third floor of our house here, and it's just... Every time the wind blows, I can feel the attic moving, the attic floor moving up and down slightly. It's a bizarre feeling. It does it on heavy windstorms. I don't know why, but anyway, uh, let's target this guy. Going after the leg. Let's see what you can do, buddy. Yeah, man. That was a leg hit. Listen for it. That's the fall. Nicely done. I want him to stand back up again. So let's target this stinger. Um... That's pretty good chances to hit right there, so we're going to do that. Let's just hit hammer this guy from the side here, or from this angle. I should have moved forward and gone from the side, but he's going to jump back now. Unless he's a complete moron. Both armors are damaged. I should have moved one more over and fired. I'm just worried about that little friend getting sights on us. Okay, he's moving back. It's kind of sad that it's like, well, we know you're the guy that they're targeting, so we'll protect you, and we'll all die for you, who's some guy that's not really part of our lands, but, <laughs> like, I don't even understand that. He should be up here fighting. But I guess to make it fair, I mean, because if he was up here fighting, well, I don't know. It would just be a lot of, I don't know. It would You really have to choose if you're going to focus him down, or concentrate on everybody else, and he'd be this little mech running around targeting everybody. Alright. I really want that Mad Cat very, very badly. Uh, wow, Blockade, you actually go first? What? 
How does that work? Okay, you're on Stinger Patrol. We need that Stinger gone. Let's get our Warlord back. So we're actually in a good position with our Warlord and our Heat right now on Desert World, so that's good. Okay, that's gone to his torso probably. His so arm is definitely gone, but uh, can we get you... How far up here? We cannot... Well, I don't know. If this is going to be considered a side shot, but it puts you in little friend range. It's tricky. Why can't I see the... Uh, I can there. I don't mind putting this guy in little friend range. He's got more armor. It's 20 times heavier than the Atticus. Uh, wow, we could just kill a Stinger if we wanted to. Not so much this guy. Um, I want this guy, so let's go after his leg. I'm going to leave this medium off because chances are it won't hit the leg and it'll save us a bit of heat. How did that work out? Yeah. Commander? Not even see the stinger from back here? Guess not, eh? At least this will put this rock between us and the little friend. Let's kill the stinger. I want to make sure we get the mad cat. I don't want to just fire at him and not uh, get that leg. Enemy eliminated. Definitely have to get the leg, so I don't want to uh, jeopardize that. Just gonna fire a griff. No! Oh, you can get over here. Look at that. Went right by my face. Gotta love those camera angles. Thank you, whoever put those in the game, because they are amazing. Amazing! Okay, little friend's already gone. Uh, can we get the raptor? We can't. We can get a side shot on him, though. Double time. Let's go. Warlording this. Offensive push, side, leg, fire. What? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Oh, you cheeky monkey. I'm on fire. Yeah, we'll make him pay. What are you doing? He's figuring out his missile missile uh, thing. His targeting solution. I guess fire solution, whatever you want to call it. So that little friend is too close to the position where he can escape from. So we really can't shoot on him this turn. Like, he escapes right here. It's probably why he's hanging out over there, little bastard. Um... God. Full throttle. Yeah, I'm uh, a little bit crazy. But I do want this mech. There it is, folks. Mad Cat Parts. That should give us a mad cat, I think. Um, let's get you outside a little friend range. Get your stability back by walking. I'm going to fire on this guy. So this is the... R no, it's the little friend.
Yeah, I was hoping you'd shoot after me. Okay, that's good. As good as it can be, I guess. I need you to sprint your ass over here because we got to get on this little friend. So let's get moving. Target him, please. Targeting him on the run. How's that for a target on the run? <laughs> How do you like them apples? Okay, little friend's already gone this turn. Um, do I want to try and push him back? I don't think I can get a direct line of sight on him, though. He's already gone, so let's just do this. I want to give him some vigilance to get some speed up next turn. Let's just move over here. Finish this guy up. Um, don't have our warlord ability, but that's fine. Just going to go with medium pulses. And fire. Okay. Let's get that war criminal. Okay, little asshole. He's got like no armor. Yeah, man. Right leg, right arm. Waiting for orders. You're too far away, I think. Sure are. Ten four. He can't get away anyway. He's moving way too slow. Wow, we can't even target him. Oh, we can from over here. Understood. Moving fast. See if we can finish this up. I don't care what happens to him. Firing. comes. That's some scary ass shit. Our target is making a break. If that thing hits, man. There we go. Both legs. Let's go home. Alright, I forgot we gotta sprint out of here. Yeah, at least we're on our way there. Yeah, maybe two turns, one turn to we're out of here. On my way, double time. Almost there. Alright, there's one of us. Waiting for orders. Two of us. These guys are slow, so they're not going to make it. Nope, not quite. Griff took a spot. I'm here. Going full throttle. All right, I can't wait to see what the second mission is going to have for us. Because this one turned out really well. I mean, we could have taken a heck of a lot of damage from that little friend, but we got lucky. Glad he had very low armor there at the end. If he was full armor, it may have been a different story. Alright. So, 35% increase, 156,000, which should be more than enough for repairs. Atticus did take some... Well, a few of us took some damage, but not a whole lot. I'm shocked that that 90-point uh, damage didn't show up. We saw the 90 hit. Uh, I just don't know... Was it the Nobite hit? It could have been the Nobite hit in the leg. That could have been it. I thought for sure it was the storm crow that it hit, but I guess I'm, I was wrong. It was probably the Nova leg that it hit. So I, I stand corrected on that. Sometimes the cutscenes, it's hard to tell. Uh, okay, so we've got two of this version of Mad Cat. Uh, I'm taking the three. As much as there's awesome stuff down here, we do need mechs right now more than anything. Um, 
let's just roll the dice and see what we get down here. Look at all these engines. Uh, max or priority one right now. So let's just take that. Got four Mad Cat, um, three parts. And now I know we got three C's. I think it is the three something or other. There's another version. Three ER micro lasers, large heavy la Wow, really? That's another one of these we've got. I thought we had. Oh, we had the inner sphere version of this. So that's the laser he hit us with. Narc launcher, lower arm. Arms are always good. I'm not going to say no to arms because we always run out. AC2, we can trash. All right, so that's actually a pretty good, pretty good rollout. These micro lasers, I don't know. I mean, 0.25 tons. If you got lots of energy points that you're not using, I guess they're they're worth it if you're a melee back or something. Okay. Um, took from Ghost Bear. Took Huntress from Smoke Jaguar. Yeah. Tamaron from Diamond Shark. A lot of things are changing hands now. Wolf is doing a lot of uh, work. 71,000. I think there's a lot of players uh, that are kind of on the Wolf side. Not exactly sure what the uh, deal is with Clan Wolf. Um, but anyway, uh, let's manage our tasks a little better here. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be four days before these guys are back. So let's get our second lance loaded up here. Let's go to contracts and find out what we got. We didn't get the Mad Cat. We didn't get what? What? Did I not? I don't even. What? That's twice now. Mad Cat 3, right? 55 tons. I guess the 3X is considered something different. I guess it's, I guess it has to be a 3X. So my mistake guys, well, well it puts us closer to the Mad Cat parts anyway. Alright, well, let's hope we find another one. Okay. Uh, we've only got one here. Insurrection protection. Um, escort mission. Martian terrain. Let's go after this one. We can probably do this one without a problem. Alright. Let's escort these guys. Flush out the main lance. And this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And you, 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 and you. And let's deploy these guys and get this sucker done. Command interface initiated. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we know this mission. So break through any guys that are here. Activate the base. If there's a second lance, it's going to appear across here. Escort the vehicles down to the launching pad here, or launch pad. Uh, and then if another lance shows up, it'll be on this side. So uh, let's clear out the pathway if there's anything in the way. Let's get into the... Well, I, God, I have no idea where these guys are going to show up. I don't want to push too deep. My concern is that I'll go too far and we'll have enemies that are be shooting us in the back. So let's let them reveal themselves here. We're going to brace it up behind the rock here. Still nothing, huh? There might not be a blocking force. Copy that, Commander. I don't think there's a blocking force. Waiting for orders. Roger that. Waiting on you, Commander. No, it looks like there might not be. Waiting for orders. All right, let's head up there. Roger. 
Standing by. Okay, let's set up where I know these guys are going to show up. Good to go. Sprinting. Standing by. Because you want to know something? It's not cheating. Because if I were planning an ambush, that's where I would put it. <laughs> ah, fuck Darius, really? Should we just start it? Let's just fucking do this. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Orders. We got the tools. We got the talent. Let's make this happen. Understood. Moving fast. Waiting for orders. Cannibal the cannibal. Let's just move up here. We may want to go back into the liquid methane here, but we'll see. At least that's what I think this is. Could be wrong. Oh yeah, make sure you move over there towards the enemy. That's really important. Kit Fox Prime. A whole lot of, I don't know what over here. Oh, something. Stinger 2C. At least they moved half, de half decent there. Half, de half, de half decent. Uh, we got more guys over here too, I know. Um, let's just turn the camera a bit. So let's get Shogun. How far can you go? Can we get we can get eyes on that freaking Kit Fox? Let's do it. Confirmed. Pick up another target. What do we got here? Stinger 2C. 24%, huh? It's because he hasn't moved yet. Laser AMS is on. Brian, you can turn those things on and off, eh? I guess if you were to take in heat. That hit something good. Cause the laser AMS can produce a lot of heat. I'm almost afraid to try it. I want my mech to shut down in battle. <laughs> I've got one, so at some point I will use it. I just want to get on a heavier mech with a lot of heat sinking. I got Commando. Yeah, that's fine. Pew. Thanks for coming out, buddy. You know what I want to see? Uh, this is not for rogue tech. This is more for harebrained schemes. Um, we've got the rain. I want to see like thunderstorms and stuff. That would be kind of cool. I think you can probably just stand here in this liquid methane and uh, hammer these guys. There's no point in moving in. Well, maybe there is a point in moving in. I don't know. His laser AMS was on. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Four from 45 hits. I guess I could hit four of them. Not that it helped. That's those big heavy lasers. Bad choice for this environment. He's overheating already. Really bad choice for this environment. Uh, can we get the Kit Fox? We can. Wow. Um, I'm going to multi-target this out. Uh, no, I'm not. Just going to shoot this guy. I'm going to go with three. You're going to save some heat. Goodbye. Tango down. Okay, you have lost your you. ability to defend yourself. Roger, full speed. I'm gonna take the heat and a chance that we can kill this guy in one shot. Nope. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Um, going with three, I guess. And shooting this guy in the back. Wait. 
A lot of damage, but not enough. Let's shoot this guy. We're going to leave the flamer off. Just trying to conserve my own heat. That hit something good. I hear ya. Okay, we got a side shot on this guy. Let's take it. Uh -huh. There's more where that came from. Don't destroy all the good stuff. Guy hasn't fired a gun yet. Uh, okay, applying some good damage on him. At least those vehicles are moving fast now. Okay, commando still got to go here. We got to get back over here because that vehicle is going to be out of here next turn. We can leave the Grinner back there to handle the rest of these guys, I think. We're going to have to move the Jenner out of the water. Ah, a few points. They always help out. Yes. Definitely worth it. Okay. That should be the end of the turn. Unless this guy still needs to go. Does he? Who hasn't gone yet? Oh, him. Okay. Okay. Um, let's have a look at it from this direction now. That'll give us a chance to get back without a problem, I think. Just need one. In the process of burrowing this guy, let's fire two more. Inflicted some heavy damage. Waiting on you, Commander. I need you back up here, please. Um That's a little better. Affirmative. Yeah, firing. Okay. Gotcha. Good to go. Mm. Going full we'll have better sensors on us there, but we'll be cooler. I mean, we're already cool, but. Okay, we got an Irby and something. Uh, 
All right, let's have a look what we got here. Opponent pursuit tank, urban mech. Shogun is like way out of position. Actually not because of the speed of this mech, which is redonkulous. So what else do we have here? We've got Shamash and a Griffin. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so we need to hold off on the Griffin till we can get some good targeting on it. Uh, let's not go with everything. Gonna just fire two. Ultra 10 AC, but he's got barely no, any armor. Okay, one hit. All right, better than nothing. Uh, the Griffin, I definitely want to try and salvage. We are very close with Griffin parts. Would have been better if it was a Mad Cat, but what can you do, right? Right? Griffin's probably going, actually. Either that or it's the Shamash. Shamish. Shamish? Shamash? Shamash? Oh, whatever. You know, I almost I almost failed English class. If it wasn't my for my uh, writing ability, um, I'm, I'm good at writing, but pronunciation and stuff, forget it. I'm just like, I'm an idiot when it comes to things like that. Anything visual I'm fine with, but like, speaking and things, I don't know. Roger that. Oh, yeah! Good to go. Cannibal the cannibal, let's uh, give this urban mac the what for. And let's leave the ER medium off, but fire the rest. Waiting for order. And Sundance, we're down in here. Let's just move over. Um, move. Okay, we got visual on the Griffin, so we're going to take the shot. And we're going to go with all the medium pulses. We're in the water. Let's drop the flame rod as well and go for the leg. Oh, yeah. So he's going to go last next turn, which will give us the opportunity to sweep the other leg. Okay, there's one vehicle in. These guys should be leaving this round. Don't shoot that guy! Okay, you're shooting the urban mech. Just shoot the urby. I got two vehicles and the urby to go still. This is their last... Well, it depends on when the vehicles move. What's the order of these vehicles here? 14, 14, 14. I bet you this guy moves first and then doesn't move, and then these guys move in. How much you want to bet me? Come on, guys. Well, at least it's a lousy vehicle. Okay, oh, he moved first. Stop destroying my mech! If you kill that mech, I'm going to be so angry. So angry. See, it's because I bet. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You guys get the fuck out of here. Just leave. Just freaking leave. Last vehicle. I almost hope he blows up one of those vehicles. Shoot the guy with the PPC. He's costing me parts here. Man, I was sure we had enough Mad Cat and, and uh, Griffin parts the last time. I should really write them down on a notepad. Figure out what we have. Either that or get my second monitor up and working. But right now I got my second monitor on my second computer, so. Don't really feel like porting it over all the time. Thank you. You jerks shooting my mech. Alright. I'm here. I'll watch now. I won't even get the friggin' leg part I want. Um, let's get into here and then we'll be able to cool off. 
See, look, it's really, really... <sighs> get the leg, get the leg. Okay, he's panicking. Oh, he's almost done. Really? <sighs> Ready for orders. Double time. Let's go. Locked on rear armor. I'm so angry now. Those vehicles, man, yes, just pee, pee me off to no end. Got it. How good of a shot do you think you are? Just shoot one. Target confirmed. Okay, that was probably the leg. Okay. Um, how good of a shot do you think you are? Got it. Max speed, no shooting. It's too much damage, but it's either going to be one or the other. Firing it. Time to die. <sighs> Did you see that? Did you see it? Oh, I just saw how much salvage you just cost us. But yeah, I saw it. Come on. See what this turd bee does. Although I shouldn't call it that. It does have the Ultra 10 in there, so it could be devastating. Ultra 10 in a, in a medium pulse laser is pretty good for a uh, 30 ton mech. All you need is a good ballistic targeting system. It can be devastating at close range. It's just a recoil and jam on that thing. But you could shred light max, you could shred vehicles. I'd still rather have four medium pulses, but still, that's not a bad loadout. Now the Inner Sphere version, on the other hand, a little different story. Although it could be devastating if you think about it. Urban mechs were just generally made for urban warfare. You put them in a street corner, right? So, oh wow, that's a lot of damage. So they can just step to one side or the other and be be hidden from the enemy. And then once you get close enough, unload on you with the AC-20 at point-blank range. That's scary as hell. Especially since it's just on the arm like that. You can stand right in the corner of a building and just angle the arm around the corner. I'm receiving you. See if we can get this Ultra 10. I'm going to burrow. Confirmed. And fire in two. Oh, he's taking a headshot already. Doesn't matter. Affirmative. Reporting critical hit. Going down. Waiting for orders. No sense he's a narc at this point. There is some stents to staying cool. This guy's the threat, so let's fire at him. Got it. I like them apples. You like that? Ready for orders. Stay in the water. Order Get this shamash. Hmm. See if we take his head clean off. Copy that. Ah well. He is dead, though. Good to go. On my way. Double time. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't have much armor, but still. Confirmed. We have to hit it. 
There we go. Good cleanup. See how many Griffin parts we get. Okay, contract payment increased by 20%, which is nice. Um, no real damage at all. Did I? Oh, I didn't see anything there. Nope. And nope. Okay, so... Oh, uh, it's a 2C. It won't count. It won't freaking count. Well, that's legitimately disappointing. Um, clan plasma cannons. Ultra 10. Got two of these already. Wow. Clan endo steel. We do have one still. Clan XL. We have any exchangers left? We do. Pharaoh, we should have some left, right? Yeah, plenty. Guardian ECMs we have, right? Hmm. Don't need them though. Uh, clan double heat sinks, we have lots of clan heat sink kits. Well, we could consider this a C bill run. Ah, it's so disappointing. Recon sensors, improved I ATMs, HE ammo. Plasma ammo. Ultra AC ammo. We've got one. We don't have any use for an Ultra AC yet, but just wondering if there's anything else we can use right away. Patchwork materials, possibly. Um, and then maybe we take these for cash. There really isn't much else up here. I mean, this isn't going to reach the other value now. Um, so yeah, I think we go that route. Unfortunately, I didn't think that was a, a uh, Griffin 2C. I wasn't really watching. I was just too excited to have another Griffin on the map. Oh well, let's confirm this. We've got one Kid Fox part, a bunch of AP rifles, ER large laser, which is good. It brings us up to four now. Um, because yeah, we totally need those. Ultra AC-10. Got a bunch of those. We could sell them though. Heat sinks we can sell. Ah, uh, God. That was terrible. Alright, 13,000 repairs, which is really nothing. And a few days. So, we'll be back. Probably up and running before the end of the month, most likely. If we can manage this correctly. So, we want to get our main lance back first. So let's do that. Atticus. So that'll be four days. Right? And then five, six days and we're back up and running. We got end of the month in eight days. So that's excellent. So we can pull off two more missions before the end of the month, which will be a whole other episode. Uh, let's get these guys repaired. So that was actually pretty good overall. Oh, so now we've got the chance to form an alliance with Clan Diamond Shark. Um, as much as I'd like to, you know what? I wonder if we should do that right now. Okay, everything's back in two days. So let's have a look. Sorry, everything's back and we got two days of so financial report. Now let's have a look um, at the star map. So Diamond Shark wants to ally with us. If we do do that, then we can only go to clan stores in Diamond Shark control. This was 8% when we arrived. It's 16% now, which really isn't enough. We'd have to like fall back to here. This planet has been flipped now to Clan Wolf. Um, this one's still Diamond Shark. This one's being flipped at the moment. I'm sure this one is going to be attempt to be flipped by these guys that are playing Clan Wolf. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do we take... We could uh, do, We could just ally with them just to see what we can get in the store. But it's not like we can't not pick up stuff on the ground anyway. Um, let's have a look at our reputation here with these guys. So Diamond Shark is... 
House Horses kind of likes this Diamond Shark right here. We're at 100. 15% job payouts, 10% store discount. I don't know. House Horses is almost gone too, right? <sighs> Tough choice. Let me think about it. Maybe next episode we do. I don't know. With Clan Wolf, like pushing themselves in here it's going to be really difficult I don't think we're going to have any chance of like we're already at minus 56 with these guys um, there actually may come a point if you look at the maps now like when we started it was a way different map um, there may come a point that you know all the other clans are just gone from here and it's just clan wolf left I mean ghost bears up here and stuff but it's this is snow raven ghost bears where here so I mean I don't know it's uh, maybe we don't want to go too far down with uh, clan wolf those people might be the only people that we can actually do missions for although I would prefer fighting against one clan here so it's probably gonna have to be wolf um, anyway we'll leave it at that um, I don't think Jade Falcon's ever going to be reborn out here. And we'll have to keep the uh, have to keep the uh, thing alive, keep Jade Falcon's memory alive um, as best we can. Fighting against Clan Wolf. All right, so I'm going to end the episode there. If you guys like to drop a like, if you uh, haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Uh, also, let me know your thoughts on whether we should ally or not. Um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.